Hard times. Let's talk about hard times. Hard times are what make or break you. Now, everyone encounters hard times in their life. And it's about what you do when you get to the hard times. Do you let it all pile up and fucking destroy you? Or do you use the momentum that you've built up previously and push through the hard times? Now, everyone faces hard times. But it's about what you do that actually is going to push you forward. Because it's just a test. On the other side of the hard times is your fucking rainbows, the sunshine, everything. Now, you have to get through it. You can't just go... Now, you have to get through the hard shit first. You can't just get to the end goal. You can't just get straight to 10k a month. You can't just get your dream physique by just stumbling upon it. You have to do shit every day. That's fucking hard. Hard shit. Dedication. Motivation. You have to want it bad enough. Because if you don't, you're never going to get there. So then when you start working on yourself every day, you start doing all this shit, then you get a hard time. You might pick up an illness. You might not make a sale in a couple of weeks. You might be feeling down. You might just not be motivated at all. It's about what you're doing these times that are actually going to push you forward and propel you up in life. So what works for me? Because that's what this channel's about. I'm telling you what's worked for me in the past. When I encounter a hard time, you have to stick to the daily tasks regardless Regardless if you feel shit, regardless if you don't want to do it, do the tasks every day. If you get into a low frequency state, you feel like you're going to commit a vice, you feel like you're going to go back and go into your old addictions, drop and do burpees. Burpees is the way up, burpees is the way forward, it's part of your daily routine, it should be. You should not fail on your fucking daily routine. If you fail on your daily routine, that's why you're not getting momentum, that's why you're not seeing success, and that's why you want to quit. Have a bulletproof daily routine. Wake up at this time, do this, do this, do this, track this, track that, bang, bang, bang. You have no time for addictions. You have no time for shit. You have no time for negative people. All you have time for is winning. All you have time for is yourself. Now, if you don't have time for yourself, you have to create a fucking plan where you can do something, where you can put yourself first, where you can propel up. Because if you don't, you're going to get shit. You're going to feel not motivated. So hard times. Hard times come, hard times go. It's about what you do when you encounter the hard times, like I've just said. It's all hard. Life is not supposed to be easy. Having your dream physique is not supposed to be easy. Hitting 10k a month, having a solid business that runs by itself is not easy. That's why you look at every average person. Nobody has good shit. Nobody has nice cars. Nobody has nice houses. Everyone dresses like shit. Everybody looks like shit. No one takes care of themselves in real life. You know why? Because they don't have things they can follow. They've just stumbled upon to where they are. That's why you're 40 years old. You're living in a shithole. You're working at Tesco. You've hit nothing in life. Now that's the worst thing that anybody can actually get to. You don't want to get into the end part of your life and regret. Regrets are going to get you. Regrets are going to crawl upon you if you don't achieve your goals now. If you quit. If you just go through this hard time and quit. Imagine looking down the line. You come to 50 years old. And you think, what the fuck have I done with my life? I'm super fat. I'm super poor because I quit. I quit on myself. I quit on my goals. I quit on everything I set out to do. Can you imagine how that would make you feel? Your kids are there. Dad, why have we not got a good house? Dad, why have we not got a Lamborghini? Dad, why are you so out of shape? Dad, why have you got a heart attack? Dad, why are you picking up all these diseases? Can you imagine being asked that by your, your child? Can you imagine the feeling of regret? Shit. I should have done it, I know I should have done it, but I didn't do it. I didn't put the work in every day. I was lazy, I was a lazy fuck. I didn't do my tasks, I quit, I gave into the addictions, I committed the vices. Now imagine when it comes to 50 years, 60 years old, and you're looking back. Shit, all the times went past, people went ahead of me. I could have got there, I could have done something crazy in my life, but I didn't because I was a lazy fuck. Now, if that doesn't motivate you to push through the hard times, and push through it, regardless of how you feel. Oh, I can't be bothered to do it today. I don't want to go to you. Do it anyway, because what's going to happen? One day is going to turn to two. Two days is going to turn to five weeks. Bang, bang, bang. You're never going to go. It's like I get a lot of people. I don't know if I can commit. I don't know if I can do this. You're a fucking pussy. Commit fully to your goals. Commit fully. Go all in on yourself. Because if you don't go all in on yourself, nobody else in life is going to go all in on you. You have, to be dri you have to be super, super driven every day. It's hard to be driven. You have to want it. That's why when it comes to commitment, you have to really be fucking committed. But anyway, hard times 
are for people who will become so much stronger. If you're going through a hard time, you're not going to come out weaker. You're going to come out stronger. You're going to come out finding what systems work better. You're going to come out finding what works better for you. So push through a hard time, find it out, and stick to the plan. If you don't stick to the plan, you're going to get nowhere. Like I've said, stick to the plan. Do the non-negotiables. Continue regardless of the feelings. And you will fucking win overall. But if you're gonna if you're gonna stop, you're gonna not gonna do it, you're gonna stagnate, you will get nowhere in life. Don't let it come to 50 years old, 60 years old, shoulda, woulda, coulda. I could have done that, but I didn't. Do it now, don't regret it in the future. You fucking got it. Follow me on Instagram, James Oxley6. I'll tag it down below. I'm taking on a few more people for the coaching, one-to-one, -one, fitness, nutrition, mindset. We're gonna completely transform your life. Follow it now and let's fucking roll.